Now this piece, which is quite different from other <coughs> jazz-influenced piano pieces written in the 1920s, is called Nola. It's written by Phoenix Arndt. It's really a little salon piece. It's almost European in flavor, but it has a little of that Scottish feeling too. But no syncopation, uh, unlike many other pieces of the era, of the jazz era. It started a big craze for the so-called novelty piano solo. And these pieces, which were little character pieces, they had interesting titles, like Dizzy Fingers. And uh, there was one called uh, Slip Over, which incorporates a New England accent in the title. Slip Over. <laughs> there was uh, a piece called Serenade to a Wealthy Widow. <laughs> Holiday. There was, uh, all these are charming little pieces, and they are stylistically quite interesting. And Gershwin was very much enamored with them. And in his concerto and in Rhapsody in Blue and all the various pieces he wrote for piano, you can hear uh, little quotes, little elements, figuration taken from these pieces. Um, this was the, the one I'm about to play for you was the big piano hit of 1921. Oh, incidentally, about Nola it was written in 1915. And it just so happened that the girl for whom it was written was a good friend of my grandparents. So uh, it was kind of news that her, her boyfriend, her fiance Felix, had written this piece for her. Um, this was the big piano hit in 1921, written by Zez Confrey. Zez Confrey was a Chicago-based piano player and composer. He had a radio show. He uh, made a lot of records, a lot of piano roles. Actually, his career was quite big before radio, uh, but later in the, in the 30s, late 20s and 30s, he did broadcast out of Chicago. He wrote very flashy pieces. He was a real show-off piano player. Uh, in Chicago, uh, when major artists would come to town, Zez would often have a party at his house. One of the pianists who came to town was Sergei Rachmaninoff. And Confrey would invite him up to be a part of the show. Now it's done. You know. <laughs> <laughs> a big piano head, 1921, was his kitten on the keys. <laughs> Thank you. 